Uh, greetings, friends. It's me once again, Wayman29. I'm almost getting as bad as the Amazing Atheist putting out a bazillion videos in a week. But um, I just had some thoughts on biblical scholarship. And, and what I want to do is compare it to a football game. And, and this is what a lot of people don't understand. You have the professional players who are on the field taking the hits. And they're making the plays and they're uh, uh, doing all the hard work. The coach, the coach already did the hard work. He knows the plays, except he's too old to get on the field. And he's the guy who keeps things organized so the team can win. He knows probably a little bit more than the players because of his perspective and what he's been through and the experience that he's been through. And he can help the players on the field develop. So, there you have it. Already you have two uh, groups of scholars. The well-seasoned ones, the ones who are out there doing the work, doing the archaeology, doing the textual criticism, trying to figure things out. Then, you have the people on the bench. The people on the bench, just getting out of seminary, just getting out of that, getting that first job in that parish, uh, just getting out into that mission, just figuring out things uh, to support to support the players on the field. They might know the game like the back of their hand. However, they haven't really took in, taken any of the big hits. They might still be uh, a little fuzzy on the plays. However, they're on the bench. Then you got the people who are in the training camp. You know, like they're in school and they're, and they're still trying to figure out um, all this stuff. Then you have the fans, the fans who observe, sit in the bench, they might go to every single game, devoted fans, know all about the players, know all about uh, the game, how it's supposed to be run, they can yell at the coach, they can yell at the players for messing up, but they're still not on the field doing it themselves, because if they were, they probably wouldn't last uh, one quarter. Then, you have the people who sit at home and watch TV. They know all about the game, they know all about the plays, they know all the players' names, they yell at the TV, they yell at the coach on the TV, they yell at the players on the TV, who's trading who, and so you have those kinds of people. So, putting all this in perspective, um, I'm the kind of guy who is at home yelling at the TV. And it's a sad thing when you mistake the coach for the player, the player for the coach, the player for those sitting on the bench. For those sitting on the bench, it's, it's, it's bad to mistake those who are in training camp. It's bad to mistake those who are in training camp to be fans. And it's bad to uh, mistake those fans who are sitting in the stands with the fans that are home watching TV. All different classes, all different types of, of scholarship happening. And when it filters down, it's the interaction between the coach and the players that matters the most. And the coach and the players and, and the ref who, who put rules on how things are supposed to be run. Um, those are the people who are allowed to make changes, even to the game itself, if they wanted to. So, uh, if you think about it, what people need to do is people, there's certain people who become free agents. They can say, hey, I'm wanted by this team or that team because I know my stuff, I perform well, and I know the game like the back of my hand. And all the coaches love me. So so that's the difference between the levels of scholarship. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. I thought it was an analogy. Maybe appropriate during football season to kind of put things in perspective. So I just wanted to ask... When it comes to biblical texts, where do you sit? Or where do you play? 
or how do you fall all into this? And do you have an uh, uh, authority um, to call the plays or make the plays or sit in the fans or sit sit in sit in the fans <laughs> sit 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 on the bench or sit in the stadium or sit in front of your TV? Um, you might not even like football. So I don't know. Well, take care of yourself and each other, and remember, if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.